Hey guys, welcome back to a Merck's Legion video. This time we're going to be bringing you information about the upcoming update. And as you can see right here, uh, my village is currently getting attacked and my base is set up to be this style of base where people will come in, snipe out my town hall, I'm going to be getting a shield here in just a second, and they're going to get some uh, loot and uh, trophies from taking out just my town hall. We call that sniping. Well, folks, guess what? That is getting ready to change. So uh, let's talk about some of the new changes that are coming out in this first sneak peek release. Uh, two of the big things that they're announcing here is that Town Hall Destruction will no longer grant a shield. So what they want you to do, they want you to bring that Town Hall inside the base. So as you can see here, uh, China Rush DL4 just took out my Town Hall. Congratulations, he got a little bit of loot. I'm going to come back and as you can see I have this nice 12 hour shield waiting on me meaning I won't get attacked for 12 hours. Well guess what folks, that is going to change getting a town hall is no longer going to guarantee that you will get a shield. The other big change is that attacking while having a shield no longer breaks your entire shield. I think this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to talking about that. But first, let's talk about the town hall destruction. Before, if you, as you just saw, take out a town hall, you get a nice shield. Your opponent that attacked you gets a little bit of loot from the war, a loot bonus, and then um, some trophies off of you for letting you take that town hall. Now, what's going to happen is if you want a shield, your opponent has to destroy 30% of your base. When they hit 30%, you get a 12 hour shield. If your opponent destroys 60% of your base, you then get a 14 hour shield. If your opponent destroys 90% of your base, you then get a 16 hour shield. Well, here's the kicker. It says, however, if no shield, you will not get a shield if your attacker doesn't deploy at least 50% of their army. So, what does that mean? Here's what I think it means. At Town Hall 9, fully maxed army camps, you're going to get 220 troop space. With an upgraded clan castle, you have 30 troops and you have your two heroes. When you combine all that together, it means you have a total of 250 troop space along with two heroes. If we're taking this as straight as is this, it's going to mean that we need to deploy at least 125 troops and use at least one of our heroes in, a, in order for the person you're attacking to get a shield. Why is this good and bad? Well, it's good for you as a um, <clears throat> an attacker because you need to start going all in and getting a little bit more in your attack and that's one of the points of this update is they're wanting people to fully attack more they don't want people just to come in and snipe out a town hall surf the clouds again for another easy town hall snipe go in snipe the town hall search again that kind of defeats the purpose of learning how to clash um, so that's going to really help you learn how to upgrade up step up your attacking for your farming style raids here for defense, it's going to be a little bit harder if you're looking for that easy shield. You need to have at least 30% destruction and they have to use at least half of their army. So you can't just take all your what we call trash buildings and stick them on one corner and you know let them just take those out with a few troops. They also have to use half of their army. So that means you can't just put trash buildings on the side and expect to get that shield. You need to design your base so that way your trash buildings can be picked off, but in a way that they have to use several of their troops, hopefully at least half their army, to take out at least 30% of your entire base. It's going to be kind of a balancing act, and I really think it's going to weigh, change the way we start designing bases. Obviously, this base I have here isn't going to work when the new update. Now, I went through and designed this base because I wanted all these uh, holiday cauldrons on the outside um, so that my Christmas tree from last year woo looking for the new one this year um, but bases like this where you can easily take out the town hall won't guarantee you a shield in fact it'll just gain, uh, net you loss of trophies as well as a loss of um, some of your resources so that's one of the big changes coming up um, the next big change talks about the shield itself so the way things work right now if I were to hit the attack button and find a match. It's going to say you have a shield. Are you sure you're, you um, you'll lose your shield? Uh, yes, I'm sure because I really want to attack. I go through, do an attack, or in my battle, I come back home, and I currently have no shield. In the new system, the way it's going to work is you had that 12-hour shield. 
you attack once, I will only go down three hours worth of shield. So I went from 12 down to 9. If I go to a hit attack again, then I'm going to go down another four hours. If I hit attack again after that, I'm going to go down five hours and so forth. So you're not going to lose all of your shield now. Why is this really good? Well, it's really good because that means you can attack when you have the time or if you need to get one more attack in before, let's say, going to bed for the night. You can do your attack and not risk losing your entire shield. So that means you're going to be able to keep a lot more of your resources and not have to worry about, is that person going to snipe me or are they going to completely demolish my base and take my resources? So that's going to be one of the uh, changes and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I don't really see too much of a downside to that one personally. Maybe you guys do. If you do, feel free to post a comment down at the bottom. We'd love to have a little discussion on your thoughts about this current update. So why are they making these changes? The, one of the reasons is they want people to clash more often. Sometimes people will feel that, oh, I have a 16-hour shield. I'm going to take advantage of that and not attack for 16 hours just so I can have my collectors save up as much loot as possible. So they want people to get out there and attack. So allowing you to attack but not lose your entire shield is a great way of doing that. Another thing that is really good about this is, <clears throat> hold on a second. <coughs> Sorry about that. Another thing I think is really good about this is it's going to encourage people to attack more often, giving you a better chance to gain resources more often. So overall, I am pleased with the shield uh, deduction of time. I like that. And um, I also like the fact that we're going to have to start really redesigning our style of farming bases. No longer can you go in here, hit find, and uh, search for that snipable town hall. Your job is just to get in here find that right base, um, destroy it um, as much as you can, get the loot, and um, you know, hopefully you'll give them a shield if that's what they're going for. But if not, that, that's their loss for designing a poorly designed base. So I uh, hope you guys like this uh, video. We've got a lot of updates that are coming out. The idea is that every day for the next two weeks, they're going to come out with some new updates for this uh, sneak peeks for their new update. So every time they come up with an update, I'm coming out with a video for you guys. Um, so one thing I'd like you to do is post a comment or below whether you like or dislike the changes that are coming up. Maybe you like one of the changes, but not all of it. Uh, or how do you think this is really going to change the way we go through and attack in war or I mean in farming. Um, so post your comments down below, get a good dis um, discussion going, and hopefully um, we will have a new video for you guys tomorrow. So this is Eureka Havoc from Merck's Legion, helping you to clash without fear.